All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we have a very promising variety to review today. This fig is called Martinenka Blanca. It comes from Montserrat Ponza's collection in Majorca. And I'm sure a lot of the information that uh, you want to find out about this variety can be found in his book, uh, Fig Trees of the Balearic Islands, or also on his website, where his book is essentially put onto uh, his website. Uh, but you'll have to translate it. Uh, there is an English copy of the book, which I have and um, referred to quite often, especially when dealing with these varieties. And um, this variety here has the name Martinenka, but I don't believe it tastes similar to Martinenka or Martinenka Ramada. Uh, Martinenka is a black or dark skin fig, and the Ramada version is that mutation that occurs, the Chimera mutation that occurs of a particular fig bud uh, that turns then into uh, potentially a Ramada. Obviously, these mutations actually happen quite often, and not all the time are they Ramadas. Not all the time do they, um, you know, have striped wood or striped figs like that. Uh, but these mutations, I believe, happen quite often. Um, in the case of this fig, it seems to be quite unique, and it also seems to be very productive. Uh, this is an insanely productive tree. Uh, I've already harvested a, probably a handful of figs off of this, ripening here in a container with the greenhouse head start, but I would probably classify this as mid to late season, somewhere in there. But the production is really superb. It's definitely among the better producing varieties. Like uh, I would say Ronde de Bordeaux is probably in that category. Uh, you know, Borges Soak Reese and Violet Sapor and those kinds of figs. You know, not only do you get figs on almost every node, but some of them are even producing doubles. They have a nice size to the fruits. Um, the fig also hangs really well. It's got a nice shape to it. And even seems like so far, it's got uh, a pretty good hang time, which is very promising. Um, now I recognized the nice shape of this and the productivity of this fig a couple years ago when I first acquired this um, from my friend Yuzuni. Shout out to Zuni, by the way. I haven't seen you in a bit, but shout out to her. Uh, she's always a lot of fun. And I have to say that um, once I started growing this in a container, I immediately recognized it has great shape. And that's when I was really obsessed with the shapes of these figs, really paying attention to the ones that have the teardrop shape, the elongated shape, and hang better. Uh, and because of that, I was like, all right, well, this fig's productive. Looks like it's doing really well. Let me get it in the ground. Planted it in the ground as a, as a tree that had a lot of figs on it. And I just did not mulch it enough. I did not water it enough. And I didn't even get a lot of figs off of that tree that year. Even though it was loaded, most of them dropped due to a lack of soil moisture. And then the tree even died <laughs> that winter time. Luckily, I air layered it and got a copy of it and put it in a pot. And that's what this tree is. It's in its second year from air layer. And in the second year, it's producing like 65 figs. It's unbelievable. Um, I'm shocked. It's in a five gallon size pot. I love the form on it. We did a great, I did a great job with the form on this. Um, the scaffolds form. This is the perfect tree, I think, to display and show you guys, which I have uh, in one of the training videos that we did. Um, then of course, I actually have another copy of it somewhere and I may have planted, I think I may have planted it in the ground. Uh, if I didn't, I'm planting it in the ground this coming spring, um, which is fine by me. I may even plant this whole tree actually, uh, this five gallon size tree in the ground. Um, I'll have to see about that. But, uh, regardless, so far I'm like, very impressed with it. I have a couple figs here I harvested, I think the other day from this tree. I was really in a rush trying to get the figs off of the tree before the rain came in. So I'm gonna compare, just to be 100% sure, these that I picked to the ones I'm gonna pick here today. Um, again, it's got a short hang time. What feels like definitely a shorter hang time. It's been rather warm today. Excuse me, guys. And in the past, it's been actually rather, um, it's been rather cool, which 
has really slowed things down. It's really messed with the hang time. It's been very difficult to gauge the hang times this year on a lot of the varieties. So I've always been hesitant. So far, I've been hesitant to really give a definitive yes or no on the hang time, which is the most important characteristic of any variety you can have in a humid place. And, um, but it seems like even though it was really warm a while ago, there are still figs that ripen quicker than the others. There are still figs that ripen longer than the others. And so you can definitely tell a difference, but even when it cooled down, it's more obvious. You could tell, really tell the difference in the hang time. Uh, but lately it's just been so weird. It's been so up and down that I don't even know what to think. I'm kind of lost um, on that whole thing. So let me cut these open just really quickly. Compare the inside that we have. Now this seems very different than the other figs here I picked. I don't know what this variety is I picked the other day. Yeah, this is, oh, this is very strange. Maybe it is actually similar to Martinenko. Wouldn't that be awesome? So just a green skin Martinenko fig that's super productive and I don't know, we'll find out. This is very strange, this one. Now I did try this actually when we did the tasting on video this year. Um, Oh, when did we do this? We compared like almost 20 different varieties to each other. I'm gonna put this actually on the ground. This is the best view I can get, unfortunately. And the pulp was actually yellow. We pollinated it though. And I think because we pollinated it uh, or injected it, it just didn't come out right. A lot of the pulp colors are not coming out right after injecting them. But this looks more normal. This is what I would expect, dark red, almost pink. This is the other fig here. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to the other figs. Uh, but let's try some of these now. This Marchenenka Blanca. Figure out what we think of this because really haven't gotten a great taste of it. Uh, the one that was pollinated or injected, let's say, with pollen and water is kind of, uh, you know, you just can't, I can't never, I could never think that would be the real representation of this variety. Um, but it did taste great. It had a great texture to it, but it was kind of mild tasting. Not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting like a Martinenka fig. Um, by the way, this doesn't actually seem as ripe as I would have thought it would be. Um, so maybe we have to let them hang just even a little bit longer. And there you go. That's why we mentioned those thoughts about the hang time. That's very good, even though it is slightly underripe. This other one does seem a bit more ripe. And I'll just show you a close-up, actually. I'll put the plate down. That's, that's a good idea. This one looks superb, or at least better than the others. You're starting to see that really, really, really dark red pulp come in there. But again, I, I'm not picking up much of a berry flavor, even from the other one. Very meaty fig, super meaty. Like I feel like I'm eating meat. Even that one, it is jammy though. Very sweet. That's a real nice fig. I mean, it doesn't have the amazing berry, again, that you would pick up from an, a Martinenka fig um, or a Martinenka Ramada but it's nice and jammy actually. That one was more jammy, less, less meaty, very sweet. And so I think even the original review I did of it, when we compared all the varieties in that video I was talking about, I think that holds true. Even though it was injected and the pulp color was weird, it's still, to me, is like a really high quality sugar fig um, with good sweetness, uh, unusual sugary sweetness, not too figgy, um, and it's got a, a really dense texture that's like half meaty, half jammy. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching this one. We'll see you for the next one, okay? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and check out the other tastings we've been doing now on the blog, figboss.com.